Today we're talking about the Cambridge Audio Stream Magic 6. Now it can be controlled with a standard Cambridge Audio remote control, but it's much more exciting to use the iOS or Android Stream Magic app. Now it can work with the Cambridge Audio Stream Magic 6 or the MP30, uh, the other streaming device from Cambridge Audio, and the app is available on all iOS devices, so that's iPad, iPod Touch and iPhone and also on Android smartphones and tablets. So it works in landscape mode or portrait and gives you full functionality as well as a few extra little features. So you have the menu selection down the left hand side when we're in landscape mode and obviously you can see internet radio is the top. Now you can search by location, genre or the name of your station. So we'll use the search function type in a name, press search, and it finds Rinse FM. Press the button and it connects. You get artwork associated with the station if there is any. It tells you the bit rate and format of the station. Now the next option is streaming services, which gives you access to Cambridge Audio's partner radio stations. So you have Alpeo, Live 365, MP3 Tunes, and also BBC iPlayer Radio. So we just dive into that. Again, loads very quickly. You can find our favorite station and either listen live or to shows we might have missed on demand. Probably the main feature for most people will be streaming their own music. This is in the media section. Uh, now the Stream Magic 6 is a UPnP device, so it can search out any PC or Mac and also NAS devices. So if we select UPnP, it's found our music mate NAS. And now we can start browsing through all our own music or of course use the search. You get album artwork, which is nice. And as the tracks load, you can search by uh, letter as well. As well as playing individual tracks from your library, you can also load a queue. So here we've got a number of tracks which we've selected and we can easily add to that just by browsing music, press and hold and add that to the queue. Then when we press Q, you can see that the track has been added. The app also allows you to listen to podcasts. Again, you can see BBC podcast as well as some other selections. And you can choose between the digital inputs on the Stream Magic 6 if you have other devices connected. The app can also control more than one Cambridge Audio streaming device. So if you go to devices, you'll see any device you have connected. So if we had more than one device, we could have more than one device here and control both. Another neat feature of the app is that it shows you the bit rate of the track you're listening to. So here you can see the track is a FLAC file and it's a 16-bit version of the track. It's a CD rip in FLAC. Now the Stream Magic 6 can be connected to a standard stereo amp at which point you'd use the amp's volume control but there is a way to control the volume on the iPad app. If you have the Stream Magic 6 in preamp mode connected to a power amp then this volume control comes into play. And if you have the Stream Magic 6 connected to a Cambridge Audio Azure amplifier you can put the app into Azure mode and again use the volume control. So another nice feature of the app is that it syncs across all devices. So if you're using a smartphone and a tablet, the Q system, for example, will be synced across both. So I can show you the Android version, which is here. And of course we have the same Q. If you are using a smartphone, you'll see that the menu system is very similar. This is the HTC One X with the Android version of the app. And again, you have all the same menus and you can still dive in and find your media, find your NAS device, Music Mate, and still browse through all your music. And as with the iPad app, you get full album artwork too.